Hi everyone, Brenda Kay here, the sweet Miss Frankie right beside me. So I'm gonna talk about the March stats and oh my God, is it getting crazy out there. So let's get right into this and see what's happening in the Halifax real estate with Brenda Kay. A little slow on the techie, I think, here today. Well, okay, let's dive right in. Active listings. Can you believe it? Look at that. Like 429. Last year was 1368. They're down like 70%. That's nuts. Look over at 2018. You'll get a better look when we go into our graphs on that. You know, this is this is what we're going through right now in Halifax. This is historic. Um, the number of sales, 755. You know, it's a little over 200 up from last year look at uh, again back 2018 you know we were out of the buyer's market we were in a balanced market then so and of course we all know we're in the seller's market now so the, the unit sold year to date 1637 and again you can see that's 400 behind last year and it's like over 600 uh, past the 2018 number days on market 29 days so you know, back in 2018, 2019, like even just to get them for, to, to 85, we're like, ooh, that's a, because they had been like, literally, they'd been 101 days at one point when we were going through the buyer's market in Halifax. Month supply, so 0.7. So what this means is that if nobody listed another house at all, in, and this covers all these, these stats are for all shapes, sizes of houses, everything, you know, condos. So if nobody listed a thing, we would only have enough inventory for sale in Halifax to last, you know, three weeks. Look in 2018, we had five months, almost six months worth of inventory. Makes quite a difference. The average price, 478. Yes, that has really, really gone up. That is huge. That's over 120,000 over what, um, what it was last year. And I mean, you, you can see, like I said, go back a couple of years, you can see the numbers there. So, uh, sold to list price, this one here, 110.4. So how can that make sense? We all know that houses are going over asking right now. You know, last last week um, in a seven day period, there were 100, 147 homes sold and the average over was $44,000. I mean, that's a big, and then we're all watching the ones that, you know, 100,000 or 200,000. It's just, it's really hard to, to comprehend when we've never seen this before. And the appreciation value, again, if you look uh, there, bring me back up there, 34%, 34%, isn't that crazy? That it peaked again in 2019. Let's take a look at the, um, the slides, the graphs. I love my graphs here. And this gives us, so here, here we are right there. You know, there's only 429 and look at here. I mean, it's it's crazy on the sales, on the active listings. So, and again, the sales, the same thing, except, you know, we're up here right now. And you can see that in 2020, we had, we had uh, a very good year too, which is amazing because of what went on in 2020. We will never, ever forget 2020, will we people? Days on market again, look, you're way up here and then you're way down here uh, today. So it's average price again. I mean, you can, I mean, look, it's not even close. So when you see them in this format, see how close they were right around there, you know, for that year. And then, like I said, in 2020, when we absolutely did not expect anything to go on when we locked down, of course it did. So, so what's fueling it? Low inventory, low interest rates. You know, uh, click the link below to my website if you want any more information there on what's happening in your neighborhood. I'm Brenda Kay, Sweet Miss Frankie. Check out Halifax Real Estate with Brenda Kay. Subscribe if you like my videos and a new one will come to your inbox every Thursday. Cheers.